So for today, we're going to be looking at the weekly challenges, Eververse, all that stuff that we usually do on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. I don't remember when I post these, but yeah, we're going to be looking at all of that. Um, new Act 2 is out now, which is cool, I guess. I haven't done anything. I just got home like an hour ago and I've just been on my phone. But uh, let's get into it because I'm really excited to see what is up. So before we get started with this, let's actually look at the fit for the video, which is not any different from the last call video, I think because it's the same set, it's just that I put in uh, Eagle Maligan instead of uh, the other shader that I have, and I think the helmet's different, but this is what I came up with. I I like it. Um, to be fair, I've seen a lot of hunters with the, like, the arms and the boots as well, not the chest piece but or the helmet, but yeah, it's kind of hard to go for a unique look when it's like spiky. It's like, okay, well, spiky, spiky. So yeah, I like it. Um, I'm trying to make a set with uh, this one right here. And it's rough, man. It's rough. Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to make a set with this one. I'm trying to see if I can make like a like a Doctor Strange type of thing. But I'm just trying to make a set that looks good at this point because it is rough. Very, very rough. So let's look at uh, the shaders. So Envious Touch. This is from Season of Arrivals, dude. This is a while ago. This is um, a season before... Um, beyond light so yeah this is an old shader we have a new pacifica rush worn and i always mention this when when one of the worn sets comes out um this is a shader that was not available during uh, vanilla destiny 2 at least not from from what i know it was not available so if you are interested it's definitely a rare shader we have dead orbit camo which i'm not the biggest fan of this one but it does have camo in it, as the name implies. It's right here. But it's an off-color, unfortunate. Or, uh, I think that's a main color, actually. Because the off-color would be the inside. So, it might actually be a main color. As for the armor sets, they're all right here. Give me one second. So, armor-wise, I'm not the biggest fan of some pieces from these sets. I'm going to go real quick to see them on the collections. Because I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. But the Insight Rover for the Hunters, I think the helmet is decent. I think the arms are really cool. I think the chest piece is really cool. And the boots and cloak are definitely the weakest portions of that set. For the Titans, it's the Insight Unyielding, if I remember correctly. This one's really cool. Unfortunately, anything that you see that's like that like red-orange is not going to change color. So unfortunately, almost everything but the boots have that. And even then, like, the boots don't take shaders really well. And if you guys have watched my content, you guys will know that the boots I actually use for a Mongolian look. Yeah, unfortunately, the boots have, te like, have really big problems when it comes to shadering. And the other pieces just don't shader well because the orange doesn't change color. And then Warlocks, if I remember correctly, the... Yep, the helmet and the chest piece are the only pieces that I would recommend. The arms and boots and the bond are just a little too boring for me personally. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from A to 1. And funnily enough, I actually did this backwards. Seasonal challenge is usually the first thing we do, but that's completely fine. Discoveries 1, complete Act 2, Part 1 of A Rising Chorus. This is literally the story mission that you're going to be doing today or whenever you get on. So it's not that hard. Research and Development 4. Complete the research quest for Specimen ID Ness 004. So this is part of the story. It's going to be a little bit annoying because collecting the specimens personally is annoying because you have to do a quest and the quest usually is annoying. Kind of like the last one was what? Complete 8 of the Ness's bounties and they only give you 5 so you have to wait 2 days to complete that one which is kind of annoying. Uh, learning computer to reset your reputation rank with failsafe in the helm this one i did immediately apparently or i did it already not hard i mean i did play a lot of the active like the seasonal activity so that way i can get all of the armor which is why i it took me a while to get that armor uh simulated rock and stone 2 mine and acquire azure and golden radiolite a radio light so I don't know how hard this is going to be. I don't know if it's like random chance to get it from the uh, from the radio light. So we'll see unless it's like, oh, these are a specific quest or something. I'll see and hopefully it's not hard or annoying. Uh, Failsafe Cracker 2. Open Echo Chest after completing episode Echo's Battlegrounds activities. Chest opened 8. Okay. So, I don't know Echo's Battlegrounds. Is that the seasonal activity or is that a Battleground? Because Battlegrounds only give you one if I remember correctly. Unless you have to 
unless they have the hammer thing in the actual battle round, then yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Auto Cannon Analyst 2. Defeat combatants in episode Echoes Battlegrounds while using sidearms. Earn bonus progress for, uh, for using seasonal weapons. So it's gonna, they're going to want you to use the new seasonal rocket sidearm, which is... I'm definitely excited to get it. Uh, echoing Firepower 2. It's the same thing as this one. It's just this one is a pulse rifle. Uh, printed Arsenal. Focus seasonal weapons with failsafe in the helm. This one's not hard, um, depending on how many of the engrams you have. I think I have enough to get two, but we'll see. Um, I might wait until I get the new weapons, though. Round and round we go. Generate orbs of power in Vanguard, Gambit, or Crucible playlists. I'm probably going to do this in Vanguard. Um, and specifically put in a super that gives you more uh, modes of light, just because of, or orbs of power, I guess I think they're called now. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna do that because uh, I don't want to do it in. I can do it in Gambit, I guess, but it's annoying, and it's the same thing with Crucible. It's annoying unless, ooh, unless we have. Uh, let me, hold on, let me see real quick. Let me see if we have uh, that one playlist thing. No, we don't. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was hoping that the I forget what it's called, Mayhem. I think it's called. I was hoping Mayhem would be up, so that way you could complete it a little bit faster. Um, and then. Trials of Osiris just went 20 times, which, or not even 20 rounds, like, it's just 20 rounds, which I say just, I know how terrible Trials of Osiris can be, but it's not hard, it's just tedious, I guess, so, let me know what you guys are going to be doing for seasonal challenges, store-wise, or specifically this, this looks cool, yeah, so there is a new, new things in Eververse, apparently, oh, wow, there is. Is that a fucking helicopter? Oh man. Oh wait, wait. Did, is this a ship or a sp This is a sparrow. That has to be a Oh my god, that is a sparrow. Bro, it's so fucking bulky. Wow. Uh, what's this one? I want to see. It's like a fucking Apache helicopter, bro. I kind of want this. Fuck. I really want this now. Alright, well we'll see so i think that's the only two things that are new because uh, they didn't give us any th new ornaments or anything aside from like the that one as well um yeah i don't see anything they still have this one wow does it better shaders really well mm. yeah because i don't think i don't think they give us any or new ornaments because this is the same these are all the same. Yeah, these are all... Yeah, so they didn't give us new ornaments, which is... I don't know. Take it as you will. Uh, shaders. Abyssinian Gold. This is a shader that I constantly showcase in all of the armor reviews and pretty much anything like that. So, I love and hate this shader. Specifically because the off color is black and this brown color is the main color, which is the biggest problem that I have with Abyssinian Gold. Um, if it was reverse, I think this would be a really good black shader. That being said, usually when it comes to cloth... It's going to be black and it's a really good black. So I definitely would recommend it for that because you guys can see it from like right here. It's a really good black. So I definitely would recommend recommend Abyssinian Gold. Rustberry has the problem of some of the times the cloth will be white. But like you get this cool like almost like orange brown red with this like deep navy. And I love that color combo with black. Unfortunately, like I said, that white will just ruin it for me. Um, brilliant idea. We have sweeper stimul stimulant. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Aranus SG-1, which is a dope ornament. It takes off the asymmetry of the shotgun, which makes it obscenely better, in my opinion. Um, I am not the biggest fan of the conditional finalities base look, just because the the asymmetry really does piss me off. Uh, photoelectric shell. This isn't bad. This looks pretty cool. Uh, exoplanet harvester. Bright nostalgia. I think this one's not bad, actually. This is pretty decent, especially since it does change color. Uh, quick cardio. I find it funny because... Uh, I'm going to get a standing desk so I can literally do this. Well, walk, not run, but yeah, that's funny. Uh, ink 
corporate whatever this right here not it funny that we have cats like this and then a horse uh, for the transmit effects we have ghost purple heartbreaking entrance and then Cabal Arrival, which is the one I use for my Titan. So my Titan is Cabal themed, or at least the, the stuff he uses. For the Shaders, we have Cursed Azur. We have Seven Sisters. Jacarina. And last but not least, Butterbark. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801 or Eververse. I personally think... Uh, I, me personally, I'm not liking what they're selling right now. Um, specifically, Ada. I usually never like what Ada's selling. Uh, but Eververse, I definitely would recommend the shaders at least because the shaders are usually really good and you might never know when it comes in clutch. But yeah, for the, I guess, the end of the video chat, which I usually do, um, we are going to be working on some more armor sets. The Today, the Hunters got their, um, their class class specific video which i do for armor reviews so they got theirs today and their shorts as well tomorrow titans you guys will get yours and warlocks hopefully you guys will have that the day after that and then after that we're going to be doing the intrepid set specifically the review the shader and then the class specific ones as well and i'm going to sprinkle in the new exotics as well because i also am done with those as well so i have a lot of content for you guys planned i will be also trying to make some content around some of the weapons that we got this season because i do want to do that i want to start getting into just more than just fashion even though that might mess up my analytics a little bit but um it's still going to be massively <laughs> fashion like my channel is definitely still going to be super massive into fashion specifically destiny 2 fashion but i want to start branching out a little bit more so that way i can keep my sanity because doing fashion throughout the whole of like ever just makes me lose interest in the game specifically like i haven't played in like a week or two so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later